Um, I mean, we went through all that yesterday and today, so I thought we made a lot of progress. Uh, they have a lot of action that are hard to guard, especially with uh, because they got so many good players, uh, guys that can shoot, and uh, a lot of guys that understand the role. So it's hard to guard, but we went through it, and I think we're going to be fine. Uh, I hear it, uh, but uh, I mean, my mindset has always been, you know, uh, three, four years ago, no one was around, no one was talking about us, so I mean, anything new, that always comes, I'm like, that's nice, but like, where was everybody three or four years ago, so it's, uh, it's nice, but I, I, I don't really pay attention to it, that, that's when you got to like, keep staying focused and keep doing the job. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I kind of hold uh, grudges um, because, I mean, three, four years ago, we were the laughing stock of the of the whole NBA, so, and then now we hear everybody's talking about us, so it's nothing, uh, I don't think it makes a difference, that's when you got, like, Sunny Hill always tells me, can't get too high, can't get too low, got to always keep it balanced. What do you think that perception is of this team right now? Uh, man, we just, uh, we got, um, we got, first of all, we got a lot of talent, and uh, guys, we, like, the culture around the team, we love playing with each other, and the way we play, just moving the ball, sharing the ball, there's no, nobody that's selfish, uh, we all want to do this together, so, I mean, that's, that's the, that's the way coach build this program, and, uh, you know, we got to keep going. Um, but I think we got a lot of talent, and we got a pretty good chance. So he's on us to just go out there and execute. What can we expect from uh, Definitely better defense. Uh, uh, and uh, I'm sure uh, our snipers are going to show up, and they're going to make shots. Uh, but it starts on the defensive end. Uh, you know, we got to... Like I said the other night, I was, uh, I mean, considering what I've done uh, in the past, I was really bad, and uh, there's a lot of stuff I can correct. This will be the first time in the first season that you've played from behind in this series. Is that require a different type of mindset, or is it the same Um, Not really. I mean, uh, game two is important. Uh, I mean, if um, and we don't have home court advantage, so we know that it's really important that tomorrow we got to go in and just play our best uh, defensively and share the ball offensively. So, I mean, we just got to just gotta do us, whatever we did in the first round. And at the end of the season, we got to repeat the same thing. Joe, going quarter, you started to really get going against things. What did you figure out there that would work for you? Well, um, I mean, coming back uh, from my eye injury, uh, I was kind of, it's kind of weird. I mean, I was trying to, the f offense kind of changed because before I got hurt, it was uh, it was a lot of posting up and uh, I was getting the ball a lot on the block. And then so I had to kind of adjust to that because uh, without me, they had to find a way to kind of score and they found a way which is really effective. So I just had to like get used to the offense and I feel like every day I'm getting used to the offense just finding my spots on the floor where I should be in a new offense and uh, it's working pretty well and the other night I felt like um, they wanted to guard me one on one and I felt like man uh, I feel like I'm unstoppable so I just had to take advantage of it. Joe going back to what you were saying people that weren't there before and that now were there what does it mean for the people that were there the whole time you know since you got to the team? Um, yeah man we I really appreciate that support. Uh, I mean, I've been, I think I've been the longest on the team uh, as far as players. Uh, I really appreciate it because going through that period of uh, losing a lot of games and uh, uh, kind of hurt, it, it kind of hurt me too because I wasn't able to play and I missed two years. So I just I appreciate a lot uh, that support. Now that you are acknowledging the whole grudges against people who might have criticized in the past, are you obligated now to deliver on that and win the championship or go further or do more? 
Um, like I've said, we we got a special team and championship special. So we got to put a good chance. Uh, so it's just like I said, it's just on us to go out there, and keep playing the same way we've been playing. And I don't know, it got. Boston is undefeated at home. He's going to play off. How do you take the crowd out of the game? I don't think. I mean, watching. I watched the game a couple of times uh, last game. Uh, I don't think the crowd had anything to do with it. Uh, at the end of the day, like I always say, we NBA players, we have a job to do, and uh, we didn't execute uh, defensively. We sucked. Um, I mean, on, on the offensive end, we didn't make shots. So I don't think the crowd has anything to do with it. It's just about us executing. Trust the process and keep working hard. Of course, you can't you can't just be trusting the process just because you have to trust the process. But at the same time, you know uh, you got to work hard on your way out and on your game. I feel like all that time off, although I didn't get to like play against anybody or practice, but I feel like that time off, uh, the time when I was rehabbing, helped me a lot. Just I mean, I don't think I would have been. As good, uh, as good of a shooter as I am now, if I would have played my first year, so it helped me a lot. It kind of helps you, helps you work on like other aspects of your game or your body. And I think for him, I think the biggest thing uh, is also his body. So I think it's going to give him a lot of time to work on his body, his game. Uh, so, But he's going to figure it out. He's really talented. Uh, I love playing against him. But, yeah.